What's up out there? Welcome back to Melver Idol Hardcore Gen 2 Episode 22. Um, it is very early in the morning. I woke up excited. Uh, I was hoping we'd see today's the 10th, November 10th. Um, if you see it in the lower corner there, November 10th is when Beta 1.0 was supposed to come out. Uh, it has not released yet, and they have not really said exactly what time it's going to release. So I didn't know exactly how this video was going to turn out, whether I would be waiting till tonight to make this video or get this in before the patch. So I'm getting it in before the patch. So let's dive in. Um, I've spent a, a lot of time doing um, combat and you're basically looking at the results of that combat right now, which is this, these um, red dragon hides. I have a ton of, um, let's see here. I have a ton of red dragon hide and black dragon hide. I've been in the evenings, either I've been, um, I fished up a bunch of whales. So I've either been cooking whale and you can see I've got 80,000 perfect whales in here. So I've either been um, fishing and cooking up whales at night or like, crafting uh herb lore or something like that just burning up the mats and you can really tell a difference because i now have 77 item slots open so i've got a lot of room to expand into which is kind of since i knew 1.0 was coming along i really wanted to clean out everything uh i've been pushing my strength along i i looked at the last video i was at 92 strength and i'm at 95 now so that's pretty good um i've noticed that this is really slowed down now, I have only been doing the hard slayer task because I really just don't want to push anything and lose this character before 1.0 hits. So, I've just kind of been slowly plodding along. I just about have enough slayer coin to buy the, um, oh, let's see here, the necromancer robes. That's the last piece of the necro gear that I need. Um, I have all the other pieces otherwise. So, I'm kind of slowly just waiting on that. And basically using up mats. Um, so I'm crafting up uh, some red dragon hides, trying to get this mastery pool up to uh, 99 for these. And then I'll move on to the next thing. That's something I didn't do with my standard account as I went. You know, instead of, I just sold a bunch of stuff off instead of like using it and mastering all these different uh, items on here. So now I have a lot of catch up. Actually, I just hit 95% so I can, oh, I must've already hit 95%. I think I dropped this below. So I try to keep most of my skills at 95%, but the problem with this one is it, this isn't something I do, this rings and necklaces. So dropping this below 95% isn't really a concern of mine. So when I spend all this XP, I'll dump it below 95 and try to get some of the stuff that I wouldn't, like all these rings and amulets, I will level those up first with the Mastery XP. Uh, because I can buy leather or find leather for the rest of this. You know, these rings are a lot more expensive to create than this leather crap is. So, um, at any rate, worry about that at a different time. So, uh, I worked on some Slayer coin. I uh, got the Necro boots and pants. I did buy those. So, I did get these picked up and let's see I worked on some ranged I've been I've been alternating between um, melee and ranged depending on what this is so if the slayer task is say what were they the um, oh god uh, is it the ruins so if they were the elementalist or the necromancer I was using the um, range character and if there was anything else I was using melee and I figured that's going to get my ranged character built up you know fairly quickly and it, it did this thing shot up pretty fast um I don't remember what it was before but every time I turned around it seemed like I gained a few levels and I know that happens pretty quickly for a while but it def definitely slows down but I've also been rocking the fire making skill cape on uh, and the uh, gold emerald ring to get the passive combat he doesn't have the greatest range gear. Uh, in fact, I was he's finally able to get the this stuff equipped. Although at level 70, I think I can equip him with some better gear. You know what? I could probably do that right now cuz I think I think the black dragon hide goes to level 70. You know what? Let's do that real quick. While we're sitting here chatting, 
I can get him some good upgrades and make it real easy. Oh, if I get all this correct. Let's see. I go back to those. And where's my gear? The other thing is I need to make sure and upgrade everything. I don't always remember to do this. Although, why do I have those? Oh, because they're already equipped, probably. I'm guessing. I'm guessing I already have those equipped, don't I? No, I don't. I don't know why I have the black ones upgraded then. Ah, crap. Hit the wrong thing. Hit the wrong thing. So the reason I've been doing these, um, like these red dragon, uh, dragon heights, they make a ton of money. So that's a million gold. Uh, of course, the other items that I put in there too, but um, they do make some serious cash. Where did I equip that at? Did I get it? Oh, I did get it in the right place. Yeah, it is really early. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's better gear, isn't it? Yeah, it's only level 60 gear. I think the next one after that's the ancient stuff. And the only way you can get the ancient stuff is by going through and killing the big dragon guys in the dungeon. So yeah, I've been working on the... I, I, I was finally able to equip the Slayer's crossbow, so I've been doing a bunch of Slayer tasks. I also bought the um, Slayer cowl and the Slayer um, body for this. I had been putting that off for a very long time, and I finally went ahead and bought it. I guess I'll equip that there. Um, make sure I don't sell that. But I went ahead and equipped that also. Um, again, because I've been doing all these Slayer tasks, that gives you a little bit of an extra bonus um, 15% Slayer skill and 10% area negation. So that definitely helps out, especially as you start getting into the higher end stuff. Um, once you start getting into, say, the Shrouded Badlands where you start losing accuracy, or even the Runic Runes because you lose accuracy in here, um, that offsets 20% of that if you have the full suit equipped. Unfortunately, once you get into here, you have to equip the hat, so that replaces it. Um, this one's not so bad because it's a shield and this one's not bad because it's boots, but the other thing, I, yeah, I guess I'd leave this here. There's no real good helmet until you start getting into the God dungeon either. So I need to work that up. Um, let's see here. Uh, what else did we do? Yeah, that actually, that kind of sums it up pretty much. Um, I did use up, do I have any more? I did use up everything I had for the diamond luck potions and I now have some large horns to make the, the damage reduction so I could do some more of those. But like I said, I've been using up a lot of, a lot of the mats that I have. Uh, I think I smithed up all the silver and gold I had. So that's done. Um, let's see here. Oh, I need to sell these. I've been getting rid of everything, but these four basic ones, the four basic element, um, runes. And, oh, um, farming. I've kind of got down, I definitely wanted to talk about this one too. So for farming, once you're done with cooking, aside from say 100%ing the game, I don't really see a need for using the magic furnace or the magic pot. So that eliminates the need to keep all the tomatoes and cherries and all that stuff. Um, unless something changes in 1.0, the only reason, the only thing you really need here is to cook whales. Um, I was thinking the other day that a point could be made to keep something in the alternate um, somewhere in here because we do have this automatically swap food when it runs out. But by the same token, you could just fish up more and cook more of the same thing. So I don't know if there's a benefit here. Um, if you know what I'm saying. So how that relates to Farming is I've basically given up farming anything on this side. Like there's nothing here that I have a need for because it doesn't do anything in cooking. Uh, trees, I basically have no need for trees now unless maybe making money or something like that. But you have to keep the seeds and you have to keep the spot for uh, harvesting and all that. So I've kind of came down to the conclusion that, and I may start this after this crafting's done, I'm not sure. I want to go back and start thieving the um, 
farmer again because he drops all these different seeds uh, and well actually it's not the seeds that i want it's the herb sacks that i want um specifically to collect all the herbs that i don't have now because if i want to go into herb lore and do anything i don't have any of these herbs like i had a bunch of these little bones and i had you know i've got a bunch of eyeballs and stuff like i could work on these skills or this skill and have these potions except the fact that I don't have the herbs banked up to do it. Um, in fact, I only have these three, which is Porax, Pigtail, and Baronto. Baronto being pretty much the end game one that you need for diamond, diamond luck and damage reduction. Um, but otherwise, like if I wanted potions for, say, agility or something, I don't think I have the, the, um, the Necromancer stuff. I don't have the Oxalime the um doo -doo -doo, performance enhancing i do have this i just need to get the fish um but like if i wanted the crafting one i don't have anything for the lemon tile i don't have that uh the fisherman's potion if i wanted to use that i don't have it and i think i need to be crafting some of these like the fisherman's the skilled fletching the crafting um probably not that one just yet the necro and the performance enhancing because i don't think i'm yeah see i'm not even full on uh i don't have all my masteries on here on agility either so it would be very beneficial to come back and get a lot of these potions not to mention the combat potions um you know they all help and i could just be building up the xp building these masteries up and using them in some fashion so I think I want to circle back and go thieve up a bunch of those sacks and sell off all the rest of the seeds. I think as far as this account goes, because it's hardcore and because you're very space limited, I'm not going to keep all the other stuff growing because I just don't need it. I don't need it for cooking. I don't need it for um, really anything yet, um, to be honest. So I'm going to keep the, the stuff I need for herb lore and that's going to be about it. Um... So that's kind of about it. I guess I got some points I could spend here. Uh, typically, I take anything that goes up by 10 first. And, oh, yeah, we did look at this earlier. Um, I'll spend these real quick since we're over 90, 95. Uh, that'll do that. And then I just dump any of the extra in that I can. Drop these in there. And we're good to go. I'll finish that up later. But that is where we are, <clears throat> patiently waiting for version 1.0 to beta test. Um, hopefully that comes in very soon. But that will do it for this episode of Hardcore. I've got a few more episodes of things coming out today or tomorrow. And depending on how 1.0 is and all that, I'm going to have a video for that. You know that's coming. But <clears throat> at any rate, that's going to do it for this episode. We will catch you on the next one. Take care.